Joining me here in the studio this morning, we've got a, a special treat young lady here with us. I'm going to introduce you to her. Uh, well, happens to be from the Edmonton area, so yeah. <laughs> this is home. Uh, Carolyn, joining us here this morning. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for thanks for coming in uh, and making it on I know. a day like today. It's crazy. It was a little bit stressful. I was like, <laughs> we're coming to a red light, my mom and I, and I'm like, you're going to stop, right? <laughs> But thank goodness for winter tires. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Um, you are out right now promoting your new single. Yes. You wrote yourself? Yes. Oh, wow, impressive. Yeah, well, actually, um, yeah, f- most of all my songs, actually all my songs, I write the music and lyrics. Um, but for this p- particular one, I went, I got um, referred by Warner in Nashville to be set up with this producer um, to record some songs mm-hmm. and uh, I had this one all written out and I was going to write with uh, Ralph Murphy he's a very talented um, really accomplished writer in Nashville and I showed him this song and he's like yeah maybe I could like yeah, like vamp it up a little so he helped me with it and um, the very next day I went into studio so it was a little bit of a risk but then here I am releasing it now so yeah well and that's quite impressive because uh, you're you're quite young when it comes to songwriting, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, how, how did you develop that style of writing and uh, how long have you been writing? Well, I've been writing a long time. Um, you know, it's it, at first, of course, it all st- starts out as a really strong passion and I didn't know what I was doing, but yeah. I had, I have a very creative mind, let's just say, lots of imagination. So <laughs> the stories just kind of um, always came out of me. And so what better way to, you know, get your story across through song, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, no, I've been writing a long time, but definitely took me a bit to, you know, realize that, you know, I really, I am more on the countryside, right? Mm-hmm. So now I'm I'm getting quite confident with, um, you know, the style of writing. So that's becoming a bit easier for me, so. Yeah. yeah. Now, with uh, country music, is that something that you sort of just uh, fell into or yes. did you grow up listening to country? No, my family has no musical background. I think you get mad at me for saying that because I'm sure there's some. Okay, but yeah, no, my parents think they can sing. They can't. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I'm on air. I shouldn't say these things, but yeah. No, I just, uh, just kind of happened that way. I think it's because of the storytelling, right? You get yeah. kind of um, country. You can really explore and, you know, and write your story. So. Yeah. Now, um you brought your piano in here this morning. I did. This is this is actually a first for us to have a piano in the studio. Yeah. We had a steel guitar player before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, we're just going up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're gonna perform your 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 latest single with us. Yes, I am. So it's called uh, "I Won't Let You Go." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's uh, Carolyn on CFWE in studio this morning uh, with her. Latest single. She's going to do live in studio here for us. Okay, so I'm going to sing now. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like it. Said, I'm the 
must have been crazy It's not over Did you really think I'd ever slip away That easy When I'm your baby Hey There's nothing there I want to do For you This is why I won't let you go No, I won't let you go Is amazing. Thank you. Uh, you. You make it look so easy playing the piano. How long have you actually been playing? Have, have it something you've been playing for a while? Um, well, I mean, I took lessons when I was younger. I did Royal Conservatory till grade four. Um, but no, yeah, not I'm not like a prolific, you know, <laughs> piano pianist. But uh, you know, I just the way I started writing, mm-hmm. it's just I always like started, um, you know, just plunking away at chords, and yeah. then it just. I started finding words, and then, you know, it just kind of all came together. But, yeah, no, I definitely feel it when I'm playing. And Yeah, well, because you also play the guitar as well. I uh, do. But um, you said when it comes to actually sitting down and writing a song, you prefer using the keyboard. Yeah, usually. Yeah. And then, you know what, and then sometimes I'll be like, you know what, this really needs the guitar. You know, and then I'll mm-hmm. switch the, to the guitar and... Yeah, so it just depends on the song, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carolyn is joining us in the studio here this morning. She's got a, uh, a brand new single, which we just heard, I Won't Let You Go. Now, um, you're just uh, kicking off and, and starting this uh, this radio tour, so you're going to be getting out there and visiting mm-hmm. other stations as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having me. This is, yeah, this is the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Early coming morning. in. I mean, uh, <laughs> when the weather, you uh, you made it in. I did, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully everyone else is driving out safe out there, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nashville, you mentioned Nashville. You've been down. You did some writing there. Yeah. Uh, was that the first time that you actually collaborated with another uh, songwriter? No, and- I... I actually, yeah, mm-hmm. no, I've collaborated before. Okay. And I've, um, you know, we've gotten some songs out. I mean, I've had really, um, you know, I I lucked out, right? I met the right person who led me to other doors, right? Yeah. And who led me to other hit songwriters. And so I've been very privileged. Um, but, you know, I think it's also about a connection, right? Mm-hmm. So you can go and write, I think, even with a, the biggest hit songwriter ever. And maybe you don't get the song out of it because it's the chemistry, right? Yeah. Like, it's both of you. Or whoever is in the room. Yeah. I mean, there really could be 15 people on a song. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, like, I mean, it's crazy how many people and voices can be on the song. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, it wasn't my first time. And, yeah, I've traveled to Nashville about, yeah, seven or eight times. And Okay. Yeah, so. And uh, you come back home every time you, you go to Nashville with um, some new, uh, I guess, some new ideas. I do, yeah. And, um, see, this is where I have a little bit of uh you know my my heart is really here in Edmonton right mm-hmm. it's like I'm you know I'm born and raised and um I love Edmonton and so it's it's tough right because yeah. you got to really be out there to make it happen mm-hmm. so but I yeah I always come back home and then you know and I love writing at home I have my own studio in my room and um usually the lights are dim and I have a tea <laughs> and I just Go to town. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, get zoned in and um, just you're, you're working at something you absolutely love, which is yes, great. exactly. Yeah. For sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Kira, are, are you on, uh, you're, you're on social media, people wanting to find out more about uh, you, get music? I am. Yeah. So I have, um, so first of all, you can go on my website, um, www.kiralin.ca. And, uh, you know, and people can listen to the clip of my song there. And uh, I love, you know, I'm on Instagram. I love posting photos and I'm on Twitter and um, and Facebook as well. Um, all on, yeah, Kira Lynn. And, 
you know, I, I'm really trying to get better at it. I mean, mm -hmm. I went back to uh, university and I graduated from public relations because I wanted to know how to really promote myself because technically you're Excellent. a product. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so I definitely um, need to keep up on that social media. Well, and it's also important as an independent artist because you are yes. um, covering it all. You're doing it all. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, I think we've got time for for one more uh, song before we um, before we go today. Okay, cool. And uh, again, another one of your um, songs that, yeah. that that you wrote. And we thought, hey, why not? It's November twenty fourth. We're about a month away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wrote a little song that's um, talks about Christmas and I did the true meaning and yeah. So when I got um, you know some radios they told me you know maybe you could sing another acoustic song and so i just uh, i decided to write a song for christmas and so this is a very raw new song <laughs> but um you know i really wrote it about it's about i feel like sometimes we forget what christmas is really about right yeah. it's not you know it's nice to get gifts and mm -hmm. you know but there's people that don't get gifts and there's people that don't have things i mean they don't have like a christmas meal and yeah. they don't wake up to their family so um, I just really wanted to say, you know, us, you know, the, I consider myself fortunate. And so it's it's good to give back, right? And open your hearts around this time of year. Yeah. So remember who's in need. So, yeah, this is kind of what I wrote the song about. All right. We got Kira Lynn here on okay. uh, CFWE. Thanks. Christmas is coming. On CFWE, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> a little uh, holiday treat there for you. <laughs> Our 
first Christ- we could say that was the first Christmas song we played this season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, you know, before we wrap things up here this morning, again, uh, you are on social media. People could uh, get information there. Your yes. song, your single is going to soon be available on iTunes. Yes, um, we're thinking like December 8th, but okay. um, I'll definitely keep up with social media to, you know, let you all know when it is available. And it's on CD Baby as well right now. Okay. So. And also past material of uh, that that you put out is also available if people would like. Yes, I have two albums out actually. One, Modern Soul, and the other one was um, actually, I got a grant uh, through Elko Radio to record that. And uh, yeah, yeah, that album's called Something Like Love. So that's still available on iTunes, and uh, I still love singing those songs too. All right. Well, Kira, I got to thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. Thank you, Wally, Greatly for appreciate having it. Me.